Well, for more on this story, we welcome to the program Alexander Herman, Assistant Director of the UK-based Institute of Art and Law. He's also the author of the book Restitution, the Return of Cultural Artifacts, published just last month. Thanks for joining us. Demands for returning plundered cultural ob objects to their place of origin have been around for decades. Why is this shift in the debate on restitution happening now? Well, I think there are three reasons this is happening. Um, the first relates to the increase of technology and the fact that campaigners from around the world can communicate in ways that they could never do so before. So I think that's an important factor. Secondly, you have um, an increase of research and study on these collections. So much more is known about them now than ever in the past. And then thirdly, I think we're living in a very different ethical landscape, uh, whether it's as a result of movies or books that have been published on these on these issues. And that sensitized a lot of people, especially in the museum sector, to the problems of dealing with the past. Now, concretely, how does a country or group go about requesting an object to be restituted? Well, it depends on the country in which they're being housed. So sometimes that request can be made directly to a museum. That's usually the approach in countries like the United Kingdom. In France, it's a little bit different. And I think that's because the, the president, President Macron, and the culture ministry has a large um, impact on what happens at the museum level. So in France, there tend to be more direct communications between the countries themselves, whereas in countries like the UK, it will go through the museums. And how could this shift that we're seeing now impact the museum world more broadly? Well, I think that it, it just makes people more sensitive, whether they're curators or registrars or managers or even boards of directors. I think it makes them more aware of the, of the sensitive nature of these items, that it's sometimes problematic or it can be contentious to hold on to them. And in other regards, it's better to be seen in a better light than, in t than to be criticized by the media. So I think all of that is coming into play, and that's what affects the decisions that are being made by museums today. Alexander Herman, thank you so much for joining us here on the program. Take